I what is good boys in this video I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a Joji style vocal effect on FL studio but before we begin consider subscribing and hitting the bell for more tutorials like this I do rap indie R&B literally everything so do it now and if you're an artist trying to get your music on Spotify Apple music you name it click the first link in the description because it's gonna get you 7% off of DistroKid which in my opinion is the best music distributor on the market so hit up the link right now get 7% off let's actually get into the video now and as you can see I recorded three different things two for the hook and one for for the intro which is going to be like a little bonus thing that i'm going to teach you guys about uh but anyway first of all you want to actually record the vocals um i recorded two of them one as you can probably tell from the hook there is a deeper voice and a normal voice just a quick advice for all of you do not start off by recording with your effects rack so if you have two racks over here one just completely empty and one with the effects that we're going to get to in a second um i 100 percent recommend using the empty one because if you start recording with already the effects you can't actually alter them uh, later on in the mixing process if you have a certain type of reverb while you're recording it you cannot change it so again i recommend recording over here but this is basically what i recorded so first i recorded the uh normal voice i'm a fuck of my life i'm a fuck of my life we gonna party all night and we have uh the deeper voice I'm a fuck of my life. I'm a fuck of my life. We gonna party all night. But now with all of this, what do we do, right? So one main thing before we actually do anything is we should probably clean up the sound a bit uh, because if you can hear, especially in the first one. I'm a fuck of my life. I'm a fuck of my life. We gonna <laughs> Ugh, it's, it's low key kind of cringe listening to it but like i'm licking my lips and stuff i don't know why the fuck i just I, I do it way too often and i don't know why i'm doing it while i'm recording but anyway what i would do is i would go to the parts where you can hear it we so so this shit and just go over here we gonna party all night my life and so now it, it sounds a we lot better party all night so now that we have the raw vocals recorded, uh, it's time for us to start with the effects. We're going to start it individually. Uh, the first one we're going to do is auto-tune artist. I, in general, don't really use auto-tune regardless. Um, <laughs> fuck, subtle flex. But for this instance, I wanted to teach it for the people that might feel more comfortable using it, which is totally fine. I used it a lot in the past. And for the effects in general, I decided to have 100% human eyes. Uh, and region speed about 35 obviously you have the key and the scale over here input type I mean it really doesn't matter uh, I mean I, I, I might as well put it in auto tenor but it does barely anything the main thing you want to focus is retune speed and humanize uh, for those who don't know I mean retune speed is what makes it sound as human as possible so you don't got like a Quavo Travis Scott type thing and retune speed is how fast it corrects it uh, so I don't want it to correct that fast because that's what gives it the robotic quality and I want it to sound as natural as possible because I mean Joji is like a pop R&B guy and you you kind of want to sound like you have a natural voice and that kind of stuff um, so then we have it over here I'm a fuck of my life I'm a fuck of my life it just kind of like slightly corrects it. I would even lower the return speed slightly but anyway once you're done with that you want a de-esser so I went on Maximus and went to the preset de-esser split band uh, and you can like tamper with it over here. You can like move shit around. Um, I like it how it was over there. I think it does the best job like that. Then it's time for a compressor. I chose the multiband compressor because unlike the limiter or the um, or the normal fruity compressor, this targets different frequencies. Like obviously you have like the lower frequencies you can specifically target, the mid frequencies and the high frequencies. And the preset that I chose for this um, is bright. In my opinion, that warm and vocal, but I prefer bright, are like the best when it comes to mixing vocals. So you have it over here like this. I'm a fuck of my life. I'm a fuck of my life. You can notice the difference from before. I'm a fuck of my life. Yeah, there is a, a huge difference. Then you want to go on fruity uh, parametric EQ. All I did was remove the sub frequencies because that's where all the muddiness in a mix comes from for the most part. So I didn't want to remove it that much because um, I still have like the lower notes that I'm singing that don't sound as powerful if I don't crank it all the way to like completely remove bass. But I think sub bass, just removing that is good enough. And the way that I did it, I went over here. I chose this one, for instance, I went type high pass 
then I right click again order steep 8 and left it at about where the sub bass is next you want to add some saturation or some sound grazer as it's called in FL studio um, I didn't add that much because I don't want it to be too powerful but I put it at about what would this be it does not tell me how much this is that's terrific and it sounds like this I'm a fuck of my life I'm a fuck of my life the beat it's gonna sound really nice last but not least uh probably the most important part to have that rb ish sound is the reverb and these are the effects that i chose the main things i tampered with were wet uh the dry and really yeah the only things i really changed were the wet and the stereo separation uh, i put that at about 48 to 50 and the wet i put it at about 82 and all that together makes it sound much more vast you can just hear it like that i'm a fuck of my life I'm a fuck of my life. We gon' party all night. She don't care if I die. Yeah, right, yeah, right. We don't want you all the time. I think it sounds pretty good. You pair that with the beat, and it goes like this. One thing I would even do, low key, to make the vocals pop out a little more is uh, put the beat on a separate rack. This is obviously if you just have the beat as like one file, wave or MP3 or whatever. So you go over here and you kind of like remove the part where the vocals hit the most. So for instance, we can check over here to see where it, the, the vocals hit strong. Obviously like the mids uh, especially. So you go over here kind of lower the mids on the beat i think that sounds pretty good in my personal opinion and naturally i feel like people that are trying to make joji type music are making that kind of lo-fi r&b style so i feel like the the lessons i'm teaching you even if you're not directly singing over yeah right could work for whatever other project you're doing i just want to make sure this man did not get copyright claimed because that would be horrible for me Yes, he did. Fuck. All right, one last final thing, just like a small little effect for, for you guys. In the beginning, as you can see, I have like this little thing over here. At the beginning, there's like a telephone effect thing that sounds pretty cool. So like what I did is I put it over here with the other effects and I went over here, created another parametric EQ and chose the preset radio. I even removed a bit of the thing over here. And so now it sounds like this. It's basically the same thing, but it sounds like this. I'm a fuck of my life. I'm a fuck of my life. I'm a fuck of my life. Yeah. And obviously, if we were to keep it like that, then the rest of the song would go fuck like my life. And we don't want that. So what I would do is I would go over here, right click on the circle, create automation loop. About the time that the beat is about to uh, drop, go over here and create like a, a separation. And obviously you have to move it over here that's basically how you do it ladies and gentlemen hopefully this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like make sure to subscribe hit the bell for more videos like this comment down below this was actually suggested by a fellow subscriber and fan so if you have an idea of what kind of video you want me to do what kind of tutorial leave it in the comments because i read all of them and i definitely welcome ideas for videos but anyway thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video and peace